road where shots are fired. We are learning tonight what really happened to a truck driver in Wasatch County. News specialist Andrew Adams is live with the story. Andrew. Well, this happened around 5 a.m. on Monday on US 40 near Strawberry Reservoir. The trucker was hauling butane when he says he experienced something he never had before in 20 years on the job. It's the kind of story expected to go down on a busy interstate. A heated exchange between drivers that goes south. If only the driver of this road saw it coming at all, heading along a lonely stretch near Strawberry Reservoir. And then he started tailgating me, like, close enough that I couldn't see his headlights. He wasn't worried at first. He moved out to the left to pass me, and he got alongside the cab. But after a half mile... He went across the double yellow lines to stay next to the truck. The SUV was still right at his side. I thought I heard a rock flip okay. up from underneath the truck. A couple seconds later, my driver's side window exploded, and then I heard another pop. Quickly shifted to terror. And that's when I realized that this guy is shooting at me. The shooter pulled away, but the truck driver was frozen in his tracks. I was in total shock about what happened. I can't believe that this is what everything's come to is, like people are shooting at people for just doing their job. He didn't want his face out there, still rattled by how close a bullet came. When the shot came through the window, it broke the mic for the CB and up into the headliner, there's a hole. He just hopes somebody might have heard about what happened and will report it. We get flipped off, get, you know, people swerve around on the road and stuff like that, but it's never, I've, I've never thought somebody would pull a gun on me. He doesn't want to see a rerun of this story ever again. I got a family at home that I want to go home to at night and I don't want to have to worry about getting shot just for driving down the road. Well, obviously a very traumatic experience. The best description he had was a uh, man, uh, lighter skin with dark hair and what looked like an average build, driving a silver SUV, possibly a Hyundai Santa Fe or a Honda Pilot. Anybody with information in this case is definitely asked to contact Utah Highway Patrol. Thank you. All right, Andrew, that is a scary situation. Thanks, hopefully they find him.